What's up everyone and welcome to the one, the only, and the original Daily Reptile News on this August 26, 2018. And let's start off with a shameless plug. I've said it on social media, I've said it on a couple videos. I think if there's anything that you guys want to see me cover on this show, just send me a tweet at Reptile411 and let me know and we'll talk about it. Now there's one really, really big thing that I want to talk about during today's show, but I'm going to save that for last. And right now we're going to start off in the classroom, or more specifically in Arkansas's classroom, where a principal was bitten by a snake after they found it in one of the classrooms. Now the principal called on their history with the Arkansas Park Service and thought, yeah, I'll catch the snake and there'll be no problem. Luckily for them, it was a non-venomous snake and they had uh, maintenance workers release it in a nearby field. And now let's move on to Wisconsin where somebody after driving their SUV realized it was acting funny, pulled over, opened up the hood and found a ball python had interfered with its serpentine belt. They called authorities, which called a snake catcher, the snake man, Steve Keller to be exact, who came and got the snake out from underneath the hood. Now the owner of the snake, which they don't really go into details on how they got a hold of the owner, but the owner of the snake has said that the snake's been gone for a month. Um, ball pythons are illegal where this happened at, so the owner was fined, and the snake man has said that he will be adopting the ball python. And now we're gonna move on to social media, where apparently somebody got in a little bit of hot water for something they posted. A person had posted that their pet rattlesnake had gotten on the loose, and they don't really go into detail about what kind of hot water they got into but the local police have confirmed that there is no pet rattlesnake on the loose and this was just a thing on social media that somebody posted so you be careful what you're posting out there because they're watching and they'll find you and you'll get in some cold water, hot water. And a quick update to this story, I just found out what the guy was charged with. He was charged with causing false public alarm as well as obstructing the administration of law. So there you have it. And now we're going to move on to our final story, our title story and our t worst story of the day. Now the news outlets just absolutely blew up over the weekend about the USGS report that we had talked about. The, the hybrid snakes are coming after you. The, the, the hybrid pythons in Florida are going to kill everything. I can go on and on. And in fact, I'll read you a couple of their headlines here. Hybrid snake threatens Florida Everglades, Everglades invasive super reptile decimates local wildlife. Um, snakes alive fears terrifying new hybrid super snake python discovered in Florida will invade dry land. And it's stuff like that that just, oh my God, it drives me just so insane. I just, it makes me want to punch a baby. It, it makes me so mad. And, but this is where I, I think where cooler heads have to prevail and we as a community have to stand up and we have to correct these things that there is no hybrid super snake that's coming to eat your babies. The problem in Florida has been an ongoing problem in Florida and will continue to be an ongoing problem in Florida just as it has been for the last uh, many, many years. And we need to just, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to, I want to spread so much hate at these news outlets right now, but at the same time, I don't want to. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I think uh, you guys, share this video let everybody know what the truth is and that these fear-mongering fake news um, outlets are are not helping us at all and that my friends has been all your news for this Monday if you'd like to read any more about these stories those links are right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see you Wednesday